So this is going to be my new set for setup wars because of two reasons. Um, the living room has too much echo and two, I have way too much equipment to take downstairs and then bring it back up when I'm done every single week. That's just too much work. What's up guys, it's Ed back again from TechSource and welcome to Setup Wars episode 26 where you submit your desk setup to get featured on the channel. If you guys are new to the series and want to submit your desk setup, make sure to watch the video linked down below. With that said and done, let the setup wars begin. G2A is your one-stop shop for extremely cheap CD keys for any game out there. Never pay full price again for your favorite games, guys. Check it out by clicking on the link down below. So I got my iPad Air 2 back and for those of you guys wondering where it's been, I actually sent it to the guys at Colorware to do a paint job and as you can tell, they did a bomb ass job on it. It was originally champagne and I hated that color so they painted the back in a matte black finish and the Apple logo in a glossy red which looks way better and matches my overall color scheme. They also do engravings which is awesome but if you guys want your devices custom painted, definitely check them out. They can custom paint a wide variety of devices from consoles to smartphones and a bunch of other stuff but I'll go ahead and drop a link down below so you guys can check them out but yeah I'm definitely loving my new iPad Air 2. As always everyone's gear for their setups will be linked down below along with anything I recommend in this episode. Uh, but with that said here are your 5 lucky contestants. We have Bobby, Shatan, Emmanuel, Gianni and Harut. What an interesting set of names. But nonetheless, congrats for making it to Setup Wars. Episode 26. Starting up the show is Bobby's clean all black setup. We have a 27 inch Asus ROG monitor, a wireless keyboard and mouse combo from Logitech on top of the IKEA Galant desk. We also have a pair of Audio Engine A5 monitors and wood technology speaker stands which really go well with the height of your monitor. Up top we have a Samsung 40 inch TV and a fancy yet expensive Aaron chair. Cable management looks very clean but that whiteboard makes me question what's behind it. I do love the color contrast of your rug and the pretty sweet PC of yours which is rocking a 5820K and an MSI 980Ti. Definitely a solid gaming PC, although 32GB is somewhat overkill for this build. Unless you're doing some heavy CAD design. It does look like you have your productivity type setup judging by your keyboard and mouse, but nonetheless a very clean and organized setup. Thank you Bobby for entering. Next up is Chatan with a single 24 inch LG monitor, a Microsoft wired 600 keyboard and a G600 gaming mouse. Definitely a strange combination. We also have a pair of Sagent headphones on the acrylic headphone stand that I recommend way too often in my Setup Wars episodes. Cable management is pretty good, I see that you have the famous IKEA Signum rack attached on the ceiling of your desk to hold up the power strips and wires. Pretty good job there. Some of the miscellaneous items on the desk include the Lenovo notebook and a Pendo tablet. I thought it said Pedo tablet at first when I was reading it. Powering the setup is this custom PC running a 4690K and a GTX 750 Ti inside the popular Corsair 300D case. Overall a very straightforward setup, thank you Chatan or, or Chatin for entering setup wars. At number 3 we have Emmanuel with his clean productivity setup. We have a Dell 24 inch monitor on top of the Alex add-on unit which also has the Teotronics desk lamp and a Blue Yeti microphone on top. On the desk we have a Logitech TK820 keyboard and M510 mouse with a Dell XPS 12 monitor underneath the stand. The IKEA monitor stand is something I would use for my setup if I didn't have my ultra wide mounted on the desk. It does such a great job cleaning up the overall desk and it comes with two drawers for storage. You honestly can't go wrong with those. Kale management can definitely be improved. I see that you have the Kotex surge protector, so why not grab some Velcro or 3M tape and mount that on the ceiling of your desk to clean up your wires. It's a very simple task and you can check out this video if you need more help. I don't have anything else bad to say, you have a beautiful setup indeed. Thank you Emmanuel for entering. Next up is Gianni with an antique desk setup. <laughs> we have a 22 inch LG monitor, Black Widow Ultimate Keyboard and a Death Adder Chroma Mouse. Also on the desk we have some Edifier speakers and a pair of Razer Electra headphones. Uh, cable management is great, I really like how you use the Monoprice Spiral Wrap to clean up the wires. I would strongly recommend a mouse pad and what a lot of people don't know is that not only are you damaging the surface of your desk, 
Not that it matters for this desk, but you're also wearing out the feet of the mouse. A mouse pad will not only help extend the life of your mouse and desk, but also make the mouse a lot smoother to slide. Also a headphone anchor to keep those headphones on because constantly laying them down can also damage your desk and scuff the headphones up. But I'll go ahead and drop a link to a few of them down below for you. Last but not least, we have one of my people, Harut Barafakhbaras. We have a 24 inch Asus monitor and a Red Dragon gaming keyboard, mouse and mouse pad. I definitely like your taste, Harut. We also have a pair of Turtle Beach Air Force Z11s hanging from the Atlantic gaming desk. That's right guys, this is an actual gaming desk made with silver metallic steel and carbon fiber finish. This thing has freaking cup holders, a monitor riser, headphone hanger, and a few racks to keep controllers and other miscellaneous stuff on. So if you guys want something to build your dream desk on, this is a solid desk with a lot of positive reviews, but I'll go ahead and drop a link to it down below if you want to check it out. Scale management is pretty good. The table also comes with a rack that you can use to hold the power strip, which I see that you have utilized really well. Great choice on your PC parts as well, sticking with your black and red theme. We have a 4790K processor and an MSI GTX 970 GPU. Overall, a very compact and dope setup indeed. Merci Harut for joining Setup Wars. So that's it for this week's episode of Setup Wars. You guys know what to do. Drop your comments down below and vote on who has the best desk setup. And as always, I'll announce the winner on Sunday on my Twitter and Instagram accounts. So make sure you guys are following me there if you want to know who wins. Uh, but that's it. As always, if you guys enjoy Setup Wars, make sure to smack the crap out of that like button to show your support. And I'll continue doing this every Monday. That's it. I'm done. You guys can go. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.